Hello, I'm Kyle Pratt from Chaparral Motorsports, and today I want to introduce to you the Shoei Neotech 2. Now, in 2011, the Neotech was released, and it absolutely was a game changer in the marketplace. This Neotech 2 is going to be the same type of game changing from the original Neotech to this new version. Well, at a first glance from halfway across the parking lot, you may not be able to see the differences here, but as we bring you in and show you what time has done in a wind tunnel for hours on end, we're gonna show you some really cool, neat improvements to this helmet that definitely makes it potentially the next modular helmet you need to have on your head. Now, in most product reviews for this helmet, you're gonna see just the Neotech 2 on the table, but today I wanna to take you on a walk around of these two helmets, show you a 360, show you the really cool, neat, new advancements that you're gonna find in the Neotech 2. Let's take a look. Super exciting, in 2011, the Neotech was released, and this was absolutely a home run. It had more technology built into it for a modular helmet than we had ever seen before. Over the last several years, Shoei's put so many hours in the wind tunnel and they've perfected this helmet, taking the Neotech to the Neotech 2 to a completely new level. You're gonna see tweaks on this helmet that are very minute, but are gonna provide a great benefit to the end user. I'm really a sucker for ventilation. Anything you can do to improve the venting on a helmet is huge in my book. I typically ride every day, and on hot summer days when you pull up to a stoplight, man, there's almost no full face helmet that really gives you the amount of ventilation that you really want until that light turns green. When I first saw the diagrams and read the bullet points of the Neotech 2, I was stoked, but I'm really excited now that we have it here in front of us. What you're gonna notice on the original Neotech is you're gonna have a two position slider and one large open intake vent. What you're gonna find on the Neotech 2 is they built this shark fin around the front. This is actually going to grab more air than the original Neotech. It's still gonna have a two position slider, but even more interesting, if you look on the inside of this helmet, there's gonna be a little shark fin right here. That shark fin is gonna divert or channel that wind exactly where it needs to go on the inside of this helmet. Another huge vent improvement on these two helmets is going to be this front vent right here. On the original Neotech, you kind of had to like hunt and peck until you found it and then push down. On the Neotech 2, literally you just slide your glove hand up or down and you get that vent to positively open or close. Now all of this great air is going to come in the helmet, it's going to come back. Now what have they done for rear face venting? What we're gonna see here is on the original Neotech, there was a little lever here that either opened or closed this channel. It really wasn't that scientific. On this side here, they actually removed the open close feature because if you have all the vents on the front of the helmet closed, you're not gonna really have anything going on back here. But if these front vents are open, you're gonna have that air that's pushing through the helmet and it just needs to escape. What you're gonna find back here on the Neotech 2 is a lot more sculpting here on the top of the helmet. Again, tons of wind tunnel time went into creating this helmet, the most aerodynamic, highest flowing venting modular helmet on the marketplace. As you can see here, the wind's gonna come up over the top, it's gonna to hit this and it's gonna flip up just like this. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pull that more moist air out of the helmet and exhaust it right out the back. Here on the front of the helmet, we're gonna have some really interesting new developments. Number one, the mechanism down here at the front where you used to pop with your thumb and open the visor, that used to be a little bit tough to find with a gloved hand. On the Neotech 2, not only is this thumb hold a lot larger on this helmet, but when the helmet actually closes, that detent there at the bottom is much more precise. One thing that I really like is where this first detent is. The first detent is right there. I love that because that's a position that I ride with my motorcycle helmet in a lot of the time. On the original one, it was a little bit shorter than that and it liked to close on me when the wind hit it. So in order to have this really kind of open, I had to go a couple clicks and then trying to find that right spot was a little bit time consuming and can be tough in certain situations. Now the visors here are not interchangeable. This runs a CNS1 base plate here. This is a brand new CSN3 base plate. Now this new shield is a 3D injection molded shield, which is significantly thicker than the one on the original Neotech. Again, another wind tunnel testing feature is the fact that this shield here was just, has a very abrupt edge here at the top. What you're gonna find over here is it's been contoured completely back. The way that this is beveled has created a very seamless flow for the air. That's gonna make this helmet significantly quieter than the original Neotech. 
Now while talking about how the air flows over the visor and the rest of the helmet in general, the time in the wind tunnel has definitely showed them what they needed to do. So if you notice on this helmet here, it's actually relatively smooth here on the top. Here on the Neotech 2, we're gonna have a really neat channel here at the top. Again, that works with that back vent and then the spoiler that's built into the back here. The spoiler on the back of the helmet here is much larger than that of the original Neotech. But where the science and art really come down is gonna be in two more places. The first is gonna be down here around the base and then the next is gonna be back here at the neck roll. On the original Neotech, what happened is that air came around this helmet and came down here to the bottom. There was some dirty air turbulence that was created. That dirty air turbulence completely eliminated with the Neotech 2. If you notice the spoiler down here, again, the wind comes around, it comes up and over, it hits this part here and creates this smoothing effect of the air out the back of the helmet. When taking both of these helmets out onto the highway and testing them side by side at high freeway speeds, you can definitely tell the difference that this helmet has when it's on your head. It actually feels lighter than that of the original Neotech. These helmets do physically weigh pretty much the same, but out on the highway, when that wind is put against the helmet and that air is managed more efficiently with the Neotech 2, the helmet feels significantly lighter. Now, airflow isn't just for aerodynamics for the sake of being smoother and sleeker. It's also for wind noise. And that's some of the things that they really focused on on this helmet. That crisp closure that we talked about on the face shield. The seal that that face shield makes against the helmet is absolutely improved. Now when wind noise comes into play, a lot of that has to do with the wind that comes underneath the helmet and tries to push up inside the helmet while you're riding. How that air is managed around the helmet not only impacts how the helmet feels, but also what you hear on the inside of the helmet. At the front of this helmet, what you're gonna notice is a very large chin spoiler. This chin spoiler was developed in order to help manage how that air hits the helmet. They tried that on the original Neotech, as you can see here. There's a really tiny spoiler here in the front, but they have found since then that a larger chin spoiler does a lot for wind management. Now, speaking of wind management, let's take a look at what happens when that air comes up underneath the bottom of the helmet. So the original Neotech was one of the first helmets to try to do some 3D molding around here on the inside to minimize the amount of wind that came up under the helmet. So being able to tailor your cheek pads to the shape or contour of your neck is going to eliminate a lot of noise in the helmet. They ventured into those grounds with the Neotech at the beginning, and you can see there's some pretty good detail um, of the actual cheek pads themselves. But what's missing are some of the improvements that they have made since then on the Neotech 2. They actually call these noise isolator cheek pads. What that means is they've actually taken some material and created basically a secondary seal that's going to sit right against your neck. This flap right here is going to eliminate wind coming in and making a lot of noise. A couple other things you're going to be able to see is you're going to see back here you have a lot more um, padding that's going to be able to cup the back of your neck. And then as you move forward, you're gonna notice that there's flaps on the bottom of the retention strap. And those flaps almost come up to where the chin spoiler ends. The chin retention strap also has that same type of wing system back below it. Again, you're gonna notice the opening of this helmet is much smaller than that of this helmet. The main takeaway here is both of these helmets have the same shell size. So the actual opening of the helmet is the same size on both of these helmets. But if you notice, the Neotech 2 has a much tighter fitment right around your neck, which is going to close up that seal and eliminate wind noise. Another feature that a lot of you are going to like is, as you notice here, Shory has the traditional D-rings on the original Neotech, where here they went to a stainless steel quick-release harness system. A quick lift on this red buckle, and the stainless steel tab slides out. As you can see, there are several micro-adjustments here that you can make, so you can get that perfect fit every time you slide this helmet onto your head. Before we dive into the chin bar here, please note that there is an additional exhaust vent here at the bottom that you don't see on the original Neotech. When it comes to the chin bar of the original Neotech, it worked really, really well, but there's always room for improvement. The one thing I noticed while wearing this helmet was twofold. Number one, when the helmet came up here to the top, there was a little bit of slob in play. I didn't really like that. And then when the helmet closed, when the chin bar came down, there was a very soft, a very soft close, and sometimes I wondered if it was actually sealed or not. Versus the Neotech 2, they've made a couple changes that I really like. 
The first thing I really like about the Neotech 2 is it's really easy to hit your thumb on here. The actual pressure that's required to push down on this lever is less than on the original Neotech. That being said, when the helmet comes up, it's a very crisp lock into place. I really like that. And then when you go to close the helmet, there is a nice clicking sound that kind of resonates throughout the helmet that really lets you know that you're locked in, secured, and you're ready to ride. All right, let's go ahead and flip these open once again, and I will deploy the internal sun visor. The Neotech 2 functions just about the same as the original Neotech. You're gonna have a slider here on the side that will deploy the sun visor. The same type of situation is on this helmet here. There's almost no change there. A feature that I really liked about the drop-down sun visor in the original Neotech that they carried over to the Neotech 2 was the fact that it is completely independent of the chin bar and the original visor. So if it's a sunny day and you have your sun shield deployed, that does not affect the function of the chin bar of your helmet. So you can pull up to a stop, you can talk to your buddies, you don't have to put the sun visor up before you function your chin bar. Moving to the interior of the helmet, you're gonna find some great advancements as well. Today's fabrics and high-end helmets such as this are gonna be more moisture wicking, they're gonna be cooler, and have better antimicrobial properties than we saw back in 2011. Another feature of the interior of these helmets that I like to point out is they're both intercom ready. So you can put a communication system in either one of these, the speaker cutouts are there, they're ready to roll. However, this Neotech 2 is now equipped for the Cena SRL system. That Cena SRL system is gonna go into this helmet 100% seamlessly. It was designed exclusively for this helmet. It's gonna be the best fitting headset device that you're gonna be able to put into this showy helmet. Now I covered it just briefly when we talked about wind noise coming up through the bottom of the helmet, but it is an internal piece of the helmet that I would like to touch on. If you notice here, this chin strap, which is now quick release, which is a huge improvement, thank you very much, Showy, has these little wind flaps built into the back of it. That's gonna, again, completely seal this helmet around your neck for optimum wind control. If you look a little further forward, you're gonna have this chin curtain or chin skirt. This, again, is gonna help with that wind noise and increase comfort of the helmet. So what you're gonna have on the inside of this helmet is going to be a 3D molded helmet liner. What that's gonna mean is the liner on the inside of this helmet is gonna be adjustable to fit the rider's head. Inside this helmet, you're gonna notice that the channels here at the top match those of the cutouts in the styrofoam. This is gonna give you the coolest running helmet possible. Now, sweat and moisture are gonna build up and from time to time, you're gonna to need to rip these liners out and good thing, they're machine washable. And there you have it, the Shoei Neotech 2. This helmet has amazing feature set that went above and beyond the industry leader, the Shoei Neotech 1, which has been a staple in the marketplace since 2011. I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Chaperone Motorsports. I thank you for joining us on this in-depth walk around of the difference between the Neotech and the Neotech 2. You can always get a hold of us at shapmoto.com. Call our customer care team at our 800 number, or you can walk in and visit us at our 160,000 square foot retail showroom. I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Chaperone Motorsports. Until next time, take care and ride safe.